what's up guys so we talked about the concept of private public classes and a little bit about methods so a method is a function it is kind of like what you do um, in a class or in uh, in some program or some application so what could happen actually is you can manipulate this concept of private uh, information where for example in this uh, in this class the person class the string name is actually private let's go over here and we'll actually just delete this entirely because we're not going to use it and I have it in this one here we'll comment we'll do that as well so what we can do is actually interact with this string even though in this person DB class it is not visible so what we can do actually is we can develop a method again it's a function now if you had a public method and you went to another class and use that method since that method is inside of the same class that has the private variables it's kinda of like a Trojan horse thing where you you're still getting in anyway and manipulating information um, even though the variable is private because again a private variable is only able to be used within its own class so if there's a method in that class that is public then you could actually use that method to get to the variable um, it's, it's, it's pretty neat it's definitely a very Trojan horse uh, type thing so let's get right into it so we are in our person class that has the private variable which is giving some, us some issues so the way we actually get around this is we're gonna create a new method and this is actually a pretty pretty cool concept uh, again we're gonna create it a public so we can actually ex uh, access it from outside we're gonna give it the type string because this is a string and I'm gonna call it something like um, get name for example open up our brackets and close it alright so the reason why we did this here is because we want to uh, not actually store any information so we have no arguments we should be not getting anything to store in we are only retrieving so we want it to return what we want it to return this name so right now what this is doing is saying if someone used this get name method there's going to be no arguments, we're going to go inside and we're going to return or whatever program uh, called this method is going to get back the value of name. Now what if we wanted to set a name? Well again make it a public method. The type is going to be string again. But this time we are setting. But these brackets will no longer uh, be allowed to be empty because we now we are setting something we need some information again the the between the uh, curve brackets is our arguments it's, it's what we're giving to this section of code um, so we are telling it that we are gonna if we told you a string called um, F name for first name or something like that open up our brackets now what's gonna happen is if I call this set name method it's gonna require that I give it a string variable called F name and what do I do with that F name I want it to make the private variable name equal to the name that I just gave to the argument to the method so this is gonna be called not return because we're not giving back we're just setting it this dot so into name which was the private variable is going to be equal to this variable this string variable right here so with this and we'll go like this this must return a result of type string so where did we put in string f name public string or rather because we are not retrieving any information it is void so we are not actually going to uh, say okay give us back some information we're actually just gonna uh, put some information inside so my bad about the uh, not including the uh, void right there so if I happen to travel over to this class which is or my main method in my class I want to manipulate it obviously still it is not visible but I'm going to now call the method set name to set some information into the name for me again with the Trojan horse concept so the way you actually implement it is very is rather simple is we still create the person one is equal to new person 
because that we still want to you know use the class now we're inside the class and we have this name variable which is private so how do we manipulate it we call the the um, the class that we created so we're gonna actually gonna do something the method rather we're gonna actually call it one because again we are going into the template one uh, instance of the template one dot we're going into now we're gonna use set name which is the method we created and you can see Eclipse is telling us that we need to do uh, put in our argument which is a string form um, and we're gonna give it a name so I'm gonna make it Solar and you can see there's no errors because now what's happening is I just put in this uh, I went into the one instance of template person went to the method set name set name requires that I have a string argument so I gave it Solar and what it did was it went to this and stored it into name. So that is how we're actually manipulating and working with public and uh, private variables at the same time. And uh, you can you know, use this information, use classes as their templates, use some information as private, um, and this can give, a lot, give you a lot of access level practice. Uh, so that was it guys, hope you guys, I hope I see you in the next videos. And uh, yep, yeah, take care, peace out.